Today about realization and energy efficient scheduling in network of data centers. Uh, the main contributor to this work at our institute is Bastian Koller, which cannot come today, uh, unfortunately. But yeah, I will present you some ideas about what we are doing. So if we look at today's uh, HPC centers, at uh, clouds, at every compute center, we have a big problem with energy consumption. So huge efforts were made to reduce the energy. So for example, we use clouds distributing the work around different data centers uh, just uh, to do models uh, better now, OK? Um, so that only the compute capability is required at the local company, which you need. And you can just buy the uh, compute power you require. Um, Clearly, we need high scalability and high performance computing as well. And at all, our company has to work cost efficiently. Unfortunately, business is only uh, looking at one point, so it's efficiency. And that's why all the uh, IT infrastructure on, on the world consumes more and more power. So currently, 7.8% of the total power consumption goes only to networking, data centers, and all this stuff. So if you look, for example, at Google, you would be very surprised to see what an actual search button click will cost you. So it's, it, it's several cents, yeah? And yeah, in future, this will be even worse. So we will reach more than 10% of our total energy production in the world just for IT infrastructure. So we have to do something against this. Um, what we are currently uh, seeing in HPC systems and cloud systems and all this storage area is that we try to make their data centers more efficient. So for example, we try to get better cooling to reduce our cost. So in our HPC facility, for example, we have nearly 50% cooling costs compared to the compute power we have. And uh, we can also reuse the heat from the PC systems just for uh, yeah, heating our buildings up in the winter, which is very efficient. For example, in, Jülle, uh, no, in Munich, they just installed a new petaflop system where they reuse the heat from the computer for their buildings. But um, this has one problem. That's just for one data center. It's locally. And we could do much better if we would do this on a global scale. So distributing work to data centers that they work completely full and data centers with, which are at the moment for example in areas where it is hot don't require much energy for cooling. Yeah? So what our approach is to schedule jobs and tasks on a worldwide or at least European basis. Um, and for this we could for, uh, use uh, systems like MOA on a global way. And yeah, if we look at the general life cycle of business at the moment, it's just business related. So you provide a new product, you develop it, you, crea uh, you create the product. Oh, can you see this? Let's do it that way. Maybe? Okay, you're provisioning it, then you do your work you want to do with it. Then comes the assessment. You put it out of, uh, of work because you want to replace it with a new, more efficient system, which you develop maybe in time, maybe before. And then the old stuff goes again. It's all business related, so you could look for efficiency, uh, low consumption of any resources you have to reduce costs. And I think it would be more uh, efficient if you look also at the eco strategy just reducing the echo footprint like CO2 production or uh, heat uh, distribution. So that's one of the key points we should focus on to reduce the, the power consumption involved. And uh, the point we can stick in at this problem is the provisioning. Using efficient scheduling strategies just to use more efficiently the resources we already have in the cloud around the Europe. So if we look at the current infrastructure in Europe, for example, we have set up different data centers, for example, our own at HLIS, one at HP, EPCC or on other sites. 
where all of these data centers has a big system, like a cluster, where we can run multiple VMs. Uh, the VM can be chosen by any customer as it likes, and jobs can be scheduled, for example, with MOAP on the systems. And at the moment, only uh, users use only the local scheduling. And we now have introduced a connection in the Bonfire project, where, which connects all these data centers together. So you can schedule on a European basis all your jobs, which makes it more efficient for example, at software installations, so you have one software package on one side and one software package on the other, so you have more flexibility in what you can use. <coughs> this you can also specify in uh, quality of service certificates and requests. And the scheduler can take a, uh, is aware of these requests and can then just assign you the right resource in the complete system. So, and that's now the point where I have to stick in the ecosystem, just at this point. For example, if we look at the European map of temperature, we see that we have locations in the north which, is, which are cool and where we don't need that much energy for cooling. So it would be more efficient to put jobs in the first place in the northern regions because the echo footprint is lower there. And if it, the job scheduling gets fuller and fuller, then we just move to the south as we could fill up there. Also, you could look at, uh, for example, time zones which differ on, world ba on a worldwide basis. So you have, uh, for example, in one region of the area uh, of the world where we have sunlight and can produce electric energy by uh, solar cells. So it would be efficient to shut your jobs just to the data centers where locally they can produce the energy. But this is not yet taken into account. So that's what we are working on. And. The point of research is now just to find out the parameters which are required to schedule these, these uh, jobs on this system. So we have to specify data center efficiency in terms of local temperature, power consumption, and all this stuff. Also network availability, because you have to uh, take the energy consumption of the network into account. Yeah? And this will then extend our current SLA management, which is just focused on business. Which, uh, which software do you use? How many will it cost? What is your uh, time to solution you are required to have? And that's uh, where we go in. Just at the middle point of this all complex cloud system now. OK. What we use? Um, Clearly, the MOAP scheduler from uh, the company here, and also the HPC suite. Um, and I hope that the Bonfire project will just get new contributors, new data centers, uh, and improve the quality of the service and the echo, the lower the echo footprint of the European HPC centers. Okay, so to conclude this, uh, we have at the moment a really big problem in energy consumption in the IoT infrastructure worldwide as it is growing and growing and nobody is noticing it. And we can uh, work against this problem using global scheduling on a data, bender, data center basis for HPC systems in the first place, for clouds it is clear that it is really easy. And we have installed a first prototype within several HPC facilities which is working great. And yeah. I hope uh, that this come true also for a worldwide basis in the next time. Good. So thank you for your attention and are there any questions? <laughs>